Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This won't be as crazy of a reaction, but um, we do have some new content today to look at. So with that being said, um, let's just get right into it. So uh, there's nothing going on with Plane Island right now other than all the all, all these like deals with like Punkleton and whatnot, but we actually have um, a new seasonal which happens to be Rare Vavine. Over here, uh, my favorite island, um, Sugarbush Island. Uh, we got here, uh, Rare Ravine, which... Oh, that actually looks really cool! Uh, I haven't seen this yet, so, um... We got the, um, Water Island Critter. Uh, and I think that's down there at the bottom, I think that's the Air Island Critter. Those cockroach-looking things, or whatever. Looks very tropical? I don't know. Alright, so on here, uh, the breeding combo is um, Sugarbush and Octopus, so uh, might as well do that. Uh, and if we don't get it, then that's okay, we can also get it on Amber Island. I guess I'll use Rare Octopus since that makes more sense. I don't, I don't know what uh, the time is for it. I don't think that's it though. Uh, so I'll just try again, and probably not get it. Yeah, like I said. But I don't think this is it, either. Yeah, that's just regular ravine. Um, so I'll try again. One day, two... I don't think that's it, either. I think that's... I... Whatever, I think that's whatever Sugar Fame is, the octopus combo. Uh, which I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> I feel like I should know it, but I don't. But I can also uh, try for it on Seasonal Shanty. Blabbit, Punkleton. Boom. What the wiki is telling me is that it would... With the enhanced speeding structure, it would be, like, around 24 hours. So, yeah, I didn't get it. Um, so, no biggie. We can get it on Amber Island. Yay, and all that stuff. Uh, here, there. So, I don't think rares are too hard to get on here, hopefully, I, I, from what I remember. So, Vivine, there you are. One day, seven hours? Is it, okay, good, I was gonna say, if this wasn't it, that would be a very expensive fail. Alright, nice, we got it. Now my rare collection is complete again. <laughs> uh, it's not that hard to get the rares, though, let's be honest. No, I don't want to play the memory game. Oh, there she goes. Oh, also look, the, uh, I think that's the Amber Island Critter. Um, it's, it's purple now, so that's, that's cool. Um, so yeah, uh, let's, I keep forgetting to do this in these videos, but let's just read the, uh, bio. Um, I probably forget because I, I suck at reading things sometimes with big words, <laughs> but let's just do it anyways. Um, every organism has its place in the ecosystem, but you can't deny that some of them could be classified as unlovely. The creepy crawly, the many le many legged, and the like. This doesn't make them any less worthy of care or affection though, as that's where the rare ravine siddles. And <laughs> Sittles. I'll have to look that word up later. Accompanied by the faith faithful indigo wingling. Oh, wingling is the name of Amber Island Critter, I guess. This seasonal gathers all unconventionally cute critters to its side and hosts little show and tell. Soyers, I guess, for other monsters to get up close and personal with them. And this way, the rare ravine hopes to make monsters comfortable with all forms of life and expand their appreciation for the natural world all around them. Alright, nice. So, it's basically a monster that, like, shows the other monsters around it that, see, these critters ain't that bad. They, they might look weird, but they're not that bad. They're, they're very nice, basically. So, that's cool. Also, like I said, when I saw it in the store, it, I really like its design, how it's, like, more tiki, in a way. Um, so yeah, I like it. But with that being said, um, 
I can't get it, but we got um, a new Epic Ethereal finally. Um, they, I, I honestly wish they could release them faster so we can get an Epic Ethereal well box quicker, but you know. Um, like I said, I can't really get it because I have all this stuff breeding right now for um, the Colosseum. But uh, right here, it looks so cool. It's like an octopus with like, I don't know, peacock head features? I, I really don't know. But, um, I don't know. I'm definitely not buying that because that's three and a half thousand diamonds. And I, I'm not, I'm not willing to spend that much on a single monster. But anyways, like I said, I'm going to read the uh, bio and see what's up. Remember how we said that a Boodoo's uncanny appearance is actually at odds with its gentle disposition? Well, forget all that as far as the epic Boodoo is concerned. It's every bit as frightening as its exterior would suggest. This monster is able to gaze at the starscape of its native ethereal island and be granted visions of deep space, space horrors, and which in turn leads to mutations of its own attributes. One of the most distressing aspects of the epic ethereal is its spacesuit. It's not actually a suit at all, but a form of mimetic camouflage that is meant to disorient and disguise its true form. Interesting, so it's kind of like camouflaging itself with a spacesuit? It, it's interesting. It didn't really point out the wands, but I think they look cool. Now that's what they call an astronaut in the ocean. Yeah, it, it's an interesting design. Definitely uh, works for an epic design, I'll, I will say that. But um, with that being said, um, I think we can actually move over to Dawn of Fire now, so let's do that. Alright, so we're here at the very spooky um, continent, uh, or plain part of the continent, unless this changed. I mean, it does look, it looks different. Maybe they just had like issues with the shading or whatever. I can't really tell. But, uh, yeah, uh, it, you know, um, oh wait, look at that spider right there. Uh, the market looks cool. This all looks really cool. Um, I'm guessing the combo will be just like the same game, like this in the main game. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so I'm gonna just do, what is it, um, T-Rox and Bogart. So, hopefully I get it. Uh, I don't think that's it. Uh, where, where is Bogart? There you are, and T-Rox. Alright, I didn't get it, and if I'm being honest, I, I don't really have, like, the diamonds to speed this stuff up, because... 48 diamonds is a lot to me, and I'm trying to save up for, like, getting another diamond extractor, because, you know, that's how you get more diamonds. Um, so, I won't be able to get the Pungleton right now, um, but I, what I will say is that I like how these costumes look. Souza is uh, a mummy or something. <laughs> Wink the Ninja. Uh, Thumpies are, like, werewolves, I think. Uh, Scups is a scary clown. Uh, Bogart is like a Viking, I think. And then I have some more in my. I don't know if they'd show up here. I guess not. But I'm pretty sure there are some more costumes. But these are the ones I have out right now, and they look pretty cool. Um, so yeah. But I I I want to hear the full continent song with. Punkleton, so um, I will go over, over there now. So um, yeah, let's do that. All right, so right here I got um the individual Punkleton sounds. Um, this video is by Krillaby, so I'll be linking their video down in the description below. So if you want to check this out yourself, feel free to do so with the link below. So um, yeah, it's only nine seconds, but it's probably I I think I do remember kind of hearing it, so. I just want to hear it again uh, to see if I miss anything. So, um, yeah, let's let's see what's up. Yeah. About what you would expect with this. Not bad. Yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, not bad whatsoever. Um, I I, I like it. Um, 
nothing much to say about it. It's very Pungleton, but junior. <laughs> Basically, what's up with that? You know, it is meant to sound like that. So, um, yeah, it doesn't sound bad. I, I, I'm glad that they got Dave Kerr back for this. So, um, yeah, it, it's very cool. Um, but with that, uh, let's see what's up with, um, you know, the continent. Uh, so yeah, uh, this video is by Percival. Um, also, we can see some other costumes here, like Shrub is, looks like Fish Man or something. Um, and the store is like a killer clown, aka like It or something. Um, Mimic is a pumpkin. Candelavra has like an eye patch, so she's trying to be like a uh, like pirate or something. Uh, Enfrat has a mouth on his stomach. Uh, maybe he's trying to be like Chaos King from Deltarune. No way. <laughs> Ma imagine if that's actually it. That would be wild. Or it could be like Blairit or something. That would be very creative. Um, I think that's about it. So um, yeah, with that being said, let's hear the full song. Oh yeah, and Yelmet. Um, Yelmet has like a mask thingy. Uh, it sounded like that. Uh, a paper bag. Okay, yeah, this is where we thought it was going to play, I think. Nice, yeah. It, it really does fit in. It's, it's nice that it fits in. Um... I don't know if it goes to Outer Islands, um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know if there's more stuff to hear, but I think that might be it for it, uh, for Pungleton on here, I'm pretty sure, unless it, yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think that's the only part it plays, but it's, it, it really fits in with the song, it really, it sounds really nice. Alright, so it doesn't seem like it goes to any outer islands, which is alright. I I mean, if it was, that would have been cool, but in my last reaction, I did speculate that I was going to Cloud Island because of the spooky sun that looked like it was from Cloud Island, was in the background, but it doesn't seem like it does go anywhere, so um, with that being said, um, I, I would like to correct uh, earlier when I was playing Dawn of Fire, it is... I'd like to clarify that it's not Bogart and T-Rox, it's, uh, the wiki says that it is, in fact, Wink and T-Rox, so don't take my, uh, breeding combo, uh, it is, in fact, Wink, not Bogart, so, um, yeah, just to clear that up. But with that being said, that is it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, it was very all over the place, uh, because we were in MSM, then we were in Down of Fire, and now we're here. Um, but, um, yeah, with that being said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Halloween, and uh, thanks for watching.